Howdy y'all, welcome to my little corner in the kitchen here. I'm going to be making some pasta with shrimp and vegetables. So I just thought I would invite you guys to join me. So right here I've just got some water with a little bit of salt in it getting ready to boil. And I was going to go over the ingredients. So I have, this is a little over a pound of shrimp, which I have it was frozen, so I defrosted it and peeled, deveined, took the tails off, made sure they were good and clean, and then patted them dry and cut them into little bite-sized pieces. And these pieces, I usually get, these are um, the super colossal size shrimp, so I usually get about four pieces from each shrimp, about that size. So I cut their little tails off and then cut them into three more pieces. So there's our shrimp all ready to be seasoned and I will be seasoning this with some Old Bay seasoning which I usually always use on shrimp. So we got our salted water getting ready to boil and here's some other ingredients. Um, I keep a little piece of plastic over the onions just because they kind of smell strong and I don't want my eyes to water. So until I'm actually ready to put them in the pan, I kind of keep them covered. So these are some baby bell mushrooms, little baby portobello mushrooms. And they are cut into little bite-sized pieces, kind of small, uh, medium dice on the onion, and uh, kind of a large dice on the zucchini because zucchini are full of water. And once they get some heat and some salt on them, they will shrink up and release a lot of that. So that's our little chopped fresh veggies. Also going in the dish will be, of course, salt. This is the Himalaya pink salt and black pepper to taste. I'll be using these. I season as I go and I'll be using salt and pepper on these vegetables as I cook them. And also uh, Cavender's all-purpose Greek seasoning. This is one of my very favorite go-to seasonings. I use it all the time. And along with the onion, I'm going to have some minced garlic. And this is about probably four tablespoons of salted sweet cream butter that I've just cut up into little pieces. We're also going to be using extra virgin olive oil, some whole wheat, penne pasta, and just a dash of balsamic vinegar. So that's going to be all of our ingredients. So um, right now, first, I am going to season this shrimp. Okay, now I've got the shrimp all seasoned, and I used probably about three heaping tablespoons for this amount of shrimp. I just sprinkle some on and toss it, sprinkle some more on and toss it until it looks really nice and coated with seasoning. Now, I'm going to leave this alone and let it sit here and kind of marinate in this Old Bay seasoning. Uh, the water's still coming up to boil, and now I'm going to turn this on kind of a medium, medium high, let's say medium high heat. And into this pan, I am going to put a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and a couple tablespoons of the uh, salted sweet cream butter. So we're going to get that melting. Okay, so I've got the mixture of extra virgin olive oil and some butter here. And they're heating up together and melting the butter. And I want it to be good and warm. And the reason why I'm using both is because olive oil and butter together, um, they kind of just bring out the best of each other. One has really good taste and one has a higher smoking point. And so, okay, we got a little smoke coming up there. So now I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. Okay, so I have the onions in there. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. And I'm just going to sweat these for about two minutes. 
And when they start to get a little color and a little translucent, which they're already starting to do, it doesn't take long. I'm going to add a couple of big tablespoons of minced garlic. Okay, now I got our garlic in there. Of course, you can peel it and mince it yourself or slice it and it will be better. But I just use this, uh, the kind in the little jar like that and it's just fine. Now we've got a roll, rolling boil going on here. So we can add about half a box of pasta. Give that a quick little stir. And then that's going to boil about eight minutes for the dried pasta. You can see this is starting to brown a little bit. We want to toast that garlic, but we do not want to burn it. That will make it bitter. So we're just kind of toasting it. Getting a little color on the onions. When the onions have the brown around the edge and they begin to get a little bit translucent like this one. That's what we're looking for. We want that caramelization to make it nice and sweet. So we'll cook these for another minute or two. And when they're looking just right, we will add the other veggies. Meanwhile, we'll be boiling the pasta. Okay, so we got the zucchini in with a little salt and pepper. I'm going to mix these all together. I want a nice, uh, good high heat, but not so much um, that it's going to burn our onions and garlic. So. We've got those nice and tasty, and we don't want to overcook them. So medium to medium high, depending on your stove. We want to cook the, uh, the zucchini and the mushrooms, but we don't want to overcook the stuff. And you may be asking, well, why do we cook it a little bit first? Uh, it's because the moisture from the zucchini is going to kind of deglaze the pan and the little caramelized bits of onion and garlic that are kind of stuck to the pan will come off and make everything really tasty. So it's kind of a little seasoning trick. So now we've got this started, we're going to add the mushrooms and a little salt and pepper there too. And continuing to boil the pasta, I set an eight minute timer for this right after it came back up to the bowl. So in with the mushrooms. Okay, the mushrooms are in there. I put some salt, pepper, and some cavenders on the mushrooms. I like to season as I go. Things are starting to look very nice. We're getting some color on the zucchini. And I don't know exactly how much zucchini this is, but it was two medium zucchini that, that I diced up in kind of a medium dice. But, you know, you can cut it in any size or uh, shape that you like. It's also with the mushrooms. But this is a nice little bite-sized shape. And it works well with the little pieces of shrimp. Okay, so this is just going to continue to cook. And when the zucchini become tender... Then I will add the shrimp, which have been marinating in their seasoning. And this will be the very last thing that we add to this pan. So on about a medium to medium high heat, just continue stirring. And we're looking for that nice, let's see, here's a good piece, for example. That nice caramel up caramelization on the zucchini, like that small piece right there. That's what we're looking for. 
and the zucchini will steady be releasing juices into the pan and the mushrooms will too but then we want all those nice juices for the sauce for our pasta because it's basically just going to be the uh, veggies and some olive oil and just a touch of that vinegar um, and a little butter is all we're going to dress this with so just cook that a little bit more and we'll be back to add the shrimp that means the pasta's ready so i have reserved some of the pasta cooking water right over there in that cup and now i'm going to drain this and put it back in its pot okay so the pasta is ready i'm going to take it off the heat and just sit it over here for a minute while i cook the shrimp so on my um let's see you can see okay you can see my heating element there i'm going to scoot my pan off to where it's only heating part of it and i'm going to scoot my vegetables off of the heated part so they're nice and caramelized looking great there's lots of good stuff in that pan okay so while that pan's nice and hot going to put my shrimp right there on the hot spot okay now we'll let this cook oh probably about two minutes aside I'm gonna make sure my my element stays nice and hot I don't want to burn my veggies, so I'm just kind of cooking on half of the element there, the heat source. It's really easy with one of these smooth top stoves, but uh, you can do it, you know, if you have a gas range or, or whatever. So we'll just cook this shrimp right up. It won't take any more than um, a couple minutes aside, and the shrimp will be all done. Okay, the shrimp's looking good. Pretty much fully cooked. It's got a nice little, little scald on it there. Looking good. So I'm going to bring it back onto the heat. Turn the heat down just a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to combine the shrimp and veggies. Okay, and we're going to make our pasta dressing right in this pan. All we're going to do, make a little spot here. We're going to put a couple tablespoons of butter, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, that now okay we're going to take some of this pasta water and we're going to deglaze the pan with it just right around the edge any, any of those little bits that are stuck to the bottom will come up and make us a nice sauce.